Healthier TV channel. I'm your host, Dr. Mamtha Chathriki, and today I'll talk about the hidden jewel that's not known to most people. We're talking about vitamin K2, a fat soluble vitamin that plays a vital role in blood clotting, bone health, and heart health. When you take vitamin K2, it helps your body to produce more of the protein needed for blood clotting. It contributes to skin health and bone metabolism, promotes proper brain function, and prevents heart related diseases. Furthermore, vitamin K2 is essential in the body's use of calcium to help build strong bones and inhibit blood vessel calcification. What is the difference between vitamin K1 and vitamin K2? Well, vitamin K1, also known as phylloquinone, is found in leafy green vegetables and is the main form of vitamin K in the diet. Vitamin K2 or menaquinone is in meat, eggs and dairy products and both vitamins are essential for blood clotting and bone health. Vitamin K1 is absorbed in the upper part of the small intestine, while vitamin K2 is absorbed lower down in the small intestine. Vitamin K1 is mainly stored in the liver, while vitamin K2 is primarily stored in body fat. Vitamin K1 is excreted mainly in bile, while vitamin K2 is in urine. Vitamin K2 has a longer half-life than vitamin K1, so it can build up in the body over time. Here are some benefits of vitamin K. Vitamin K2 helps keep your bones healthy. It's essential for the proper absorption of calcium and it helps to prevent osteoporosis. Bone loss occurs because of decreased bone formation and increased bone resorption as people age. K2-7, to also known as menaquinone 7 or MK7, promotes bone formation, so is osteoblastic, and inhibits bone resorption, so is osteoclastic. K2-7 to aids in the synthesis of osteocalcin and other proteins. Interestingly, the ratio of circulating K2 to 7 serum levels in Eastern Japanese women to British women is 15 to 1, which inversely mirrors the fracture rate of 1 in Japanese women to 15 in British women, as written in an article by Kaneki et al. in 2001. This suggests that K2 to 7 circulating levels have a significant beneficial effect on fracture risk globally. Vitamin K can help keep your heart healthy. It reduces the risk of arterial calcification and cardiovascular disease. Atherosclerosis or the hardening of arteries is a significant risk factor in heart disease. The buildup of plaque on arterial walls causes this process. Vitamin K2 has been shown to help clean the arteries by reducing the amount of calcium deposited in them. MGP is a protein that helps keep calcium from building up in the arteries. In addition, vitamin K2 activates MGP, which allows clear arteries and reduces heart disease risk. Vitamin K can help protect against cancer, particularly colon and prostate cancers. Also, vitamin K2 inhibits the growth of cancer cells in different cell lines, including leukemia, hepatocellular carcinoma, lung cancer, ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, and colorectal cancer. One study found that vitamin K2 could help to prevent lung cancer. This study looked at rats who were exposed to a lung cancer-causing chemical. Those that received vitamin K2 had a lower risk of developing lung cancer than those who did not. Another study found that vitamin K2 could help to prevent colon cancer. The study looked at people who were at high risk for colon cancer. Those who took a supplement containing vitamin K2 had a lower risk of developing colon cancer than those who did not. More research, however, is needed to confirm these findings. Vitamin K is essential for brain health. 
It helps to prevent Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative brain disorder leading to memory loss and cognitive decline. There's currently no cure for Alzheimer's, so prevention is of paramount importance. Growing evidence suggests that vitamin K may help protect the brain from the damage that can lead to Alzheimer's. Patients with Alzheimer's disease had lower serum levels of vitamin K2 than healthy individuals, as written in an article by Hewitt L. in 2013. Vitamin K2 can potentially slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease and contribute to its pre prevention. Vitamin K helps prevent gum disease and tooth decay. Though teeth are not technically bones, they may also benefit from vitamin K2. One theory suggests that vitamin K activates a specific protein that plays a role in remineralizing teeth. K2 can also play a role in preventing cavities. When the periodontal ligament sloughs off from the teeth, your gums begin to recede. Vitamin K2 mediates gum inflammation, decreasing fibroblasts known to fuel the gum disease process. In the healing process, fibroblasts act to form scar tissue. Vitamin K also protects against kidney stones. Kidney stone disease is increasing. Vitamin K2 activates a protein called matrix GLA, which removes calcium from soft tissues, and it also activates osteocalcin, which holds calcium to the bone. So if you have a lot of calcium, you need the vitamin K2 to direct it to the appropriate place. Vitamin K can fight stress-related symptoms like anxiety and depression. A study demonstrated that vitamin K2 prevented the development of anxiety and depression, but did not improve the memory deficit caused by dietary manipulation in an experimental model of metabolic syndrome. It might be that the anxiolytic effect of vitamin K2 is at least partly due to its impact on blood glucose, while the antidepressant effect is glucose independent. Here is a few of the most common questions about vitamin K and their answers, and I hope this helps you. Does vitamin K help the nervous system? Well, in addition to the vitamin K dependent proteins, vitamin K participates in the nervous system through its involvement in sphingolipid metabolism, a class of lipids widely present in brain cell membranes. Classically known for their structural role, sphingolipids are biologically potent molecules involved in a wide range of cellular actions. Can vitamin K be harmful? Vitamin K has not been shown to cause any harm, but it can interact with some medications, particularly warfarin. Some negative effects are decreased appetite, difficulty in breathing, enlarged liver, generalized body swelling, muscle stiffness. What are the signs and symptoms of vitamin K deficiency? Vitamin K deficiency is usually quite rare as green leafy vegetables and some green spices contain an abundance of this nutrient. Bacteria in the intestines of our body produce this vitamin, but antibiotics should be avoided as much as possible as they are responsible for killing all the bacteria in our gut. Other symptoms of vitamin K deficiency are problems in blood clotting or bleeding. These may include bleeding in the digestive tract, nosebleeds, bleeding of the gums, heavy bleeding during menstruation, hemorrhaging and bruising easily. What are the foods that are rich in vitamin K? The most common sources of Philoquinone are leafy green vegetables. Fresh green vegetables are also excellent sources of the vitamin. Some herbs and spices also supply reasonable amounts of vitamin K. 
Foods like kale are so rich in these nutrients that they provide 10 times the required daily intake. Besides fruit and vegetables, miso and soybean are vitamin K rich food sources. Other providers of vitamin K to the diet are milk, cheese, eggs, chicken, lamb, beef, shrimp, sardines, tuna, and salmon. Who should not take vitamin K? People with a rare metabolic condition called glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase or G6PD deficiency should avoid vitamin K. People who take warfarin, otherwise called coumadin, should also not take vitamin D and vitamin K. People who receive dialysis for kidney disease can have harmful effects from too much vitamin K. How do you choose the best K2 supplements? There are a lot of different K2 supplements on the market these days, so which one is best for you? Here are a few things to look out for when choosing a K2 supplement. Look for a supplement that contains the MK7 form of vitamin K2. Choose a supplement that's independently tested for quality and purity. Check the dosage to ensure you get the suitable K vitamin K2 for your needs. Read the label carefully to understand what you take and how it might interact with other medications or supplements. I hope this video has enlightened you about this hidden gem, vitamin K. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, You Can Be Healthier TV channel, so you can become the healthiest and best version of you. I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm your TV host, Dr. Mamatha Chithriki. Bye for now.